What's up guys, my name is Bravo, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC Battle Stadium video, bringing you guys a Palo Sand team, Palo, Palo, I really don't know how to pronounce it, I hope it's Palo Sand, but yeah, I'm going to be using a Palo Sand team today, and this is quite a crazy team, and I do have history of using Palo Sand, because funny enough, back then, when Sword and Shield was happening, I did use a Palo Sand team in the VGC meta during that time, and I've actually did the same strat of using a Water Shuriken Pokemon on Palo Sand, so get crop the Water Compaction ability and the Weakness Policy. So it's actually funny that I'm able to see this team like similar to this again. But there is no Excel Gore this time. There is a Greninja. Because funny enough, Greninja was not. In... Okay, I don't know what that was, but Greninja wasn't in Generation Eight, but it's in Generation Nine. Excel Gore was in Generation Eight, but it's not. In generation 9 so it is really something to see right there I do like the team there's also an annihilate I think I could guess I, I think I could say I could get those payback from all the people that want to use final gambit annihilate on me so I'm actually I'm actually excited to do that I do want to get my revenge on that our child makes a return but this time it's terra fairy actually I can see why it's terra fairy now it does make a lot of sense if there is going to be a lot of dragon type Pokemon that's going to be running around even without the Paradox Pokemon. So there's that. Pelipper is here to help out both Palosan and Archaldon, even the Greninja as well because I do see it has Water Shuriken along with Liquidation so it could be like a mixed attack set. And last but not least we do have the Incineroar, of course, Terra Ghost with the Safety Goggles. So that's really interesting. And also... <laughs> Oh man, yeah, also, I have a feeling this Greninja might be, I don't know, probably from be the raid, because I remember back then there was like a poison type Greninja raid, so if it's the same one, that's actually really funny that you're using the unrivaled Greninja for this fight, but yeah, shout out to Kurtastic, I remember I used a team of his back then, I think it was the Lugia team or the ho team, I really don't know which one. I, if I can remember, I think it was the Lugia team that he made. I used that team. It was really outstanding. So, using another one of his teams, I'm actually really excited because this dude makes crazy teams and it just works. So, yeah, once again, shout out to Mr. Critastic, the BGC player, for this amazing team. And, yeah, I can't wait to use it. So, let's dive right into our first match. Oh, man. All right. Looking at my opponent's team, they do have a lot of heavy hitters, I'm going to be honest. Like, we have the Rillaboom, the Blood Moon, Ursa Luna, the Garchomp, they have a Tyranitar, the Goldengo, and they have a Grimmsnarl. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't even know what my opponent's trying to cook with this team, because this is a weird one. It really is. You know what? Maybe... Hmm. Maybe I can actually start off with Greninja and Halo Sand. Oh wait, I think I have an idea now. I forgot Tyranitar can set up the sand. All right, if that's the case, I'm bringing in Pelipper for this one. I I'm gonna bring in Pelipper for this one. <clears throat> so yeah, that'll be it. I'll also bring in Archelon on as well, because it can also benefit from the rain and deal with Pokemon that Pelo Saint can't. So yeah, let's see how my let's let's see what my opponent's gonna bring in. I'm a little worried. Okay. Alright. Um, gonna be a... Wait, I don't think you get affected by fake out. I can't. Alright. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna taunt the Grimstall. Because I don't have Prankster, so I could get away with the taunt. I'm pretty sure I can. You know what? Let's go for it. This is this is weird, but I'm gonna try it. Cause I have a feeling my opponent might like predict a cover. I don't know. He probably is gonna go for grassy surge regardless. I'll terrestrial. So I'll be at I'll be 100. a really bulky sand at this time. I'm gonna be a uh, uh, Sand Fairy and Sand Castle. 
That's that's what Kellen Sen is right now. So yeah, I'm gonna get that speed increase. That's a speed, that <laughs> defense boost. Oh man. So yeah, I'll get the defense boost. So now I'm at plus six. And it ended it right there, perfect. I'm fine with that. Because now, because now this Pokemon is bulky. This Pokemon is at plus six. And while I'm at it, I am gonna do light screen as well. Did I just say light screen? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm my mind's all over the place right now. Alright. Yeah, so I already did Amnesia, so now I'm at plus two in special defense, I'm at plus six in defense. I could bring in power for now. And this yeah, I can actually bring in power for now. <laughs> I can hurricane right here. Yeah, I can hurricane the villager. I don't know how much the damage this earth power is gonna do. Actually, I don't think my opponent has anything like for Hellasan. I don't think they do. Because I'm just gonna be straight up bulky. So I'll just go for it. I'm gonna show you damage this hurricane. Okay, that's how I confuse them. No, I can't. My opponent just set up a weakness policy on the Pelican. It is a wrap. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has to be the craziest set ever. Oh, that was funny. There's no way. I gotta get rid of you now. I gotta get rid of you now. I was not expecting you to do that. I wasn't expecting him to do that. Oh man. I'm gonna stop tailwind. I'm gonna stop tailwind because now, because now I have to outspeed. I didn't. I really did not like how that went. So I'm just, I'm just gonna do my solo favor and just do that now, get that out the way, because that Grimstone actually did a lot of damage in that foul play. Team, go for it again. I could have other ball right there and just go for sure. I want to, I want to do that, but Oh, I do have focus on the teleport, so... How much turns do they have on light screen? Knowing that Grimstone, they probably have a light clay on them. So I might go for... On that, I'm gonna go for Shore Up. Oh, they are really... Okay. Yeah, my phone is really trying to take down this castle. Paranormal! Okay, yeah, they, he's trying to get rid of me. Like, it, it's not a drill. This My opponent is really trying to get rid of me. Ooh, that did a good amount. I don't know if that was the right play, but let me see. Oh, that did nothing. I did nothing. What about this brush? Oh, you're gonna take it. Okay. That's perfect. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I am perfectly fine with that. I can go for a hurricane. I doubt the Grimstone would have a protect, but if it does, then that's a yikes. <laughs> Maybe, but I just want to. I'm probably gonna make that play. I'm gonna rip the bandage off. 
Okay. All right, you're gone. And there goes the hyper voice. Maybe I should have. Oh wait, I forgot. Blood Moon is a move that you can't use twice. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about that. I am making like the worst plays right now. Knowing, knowing my opponent, his last Pokemon is probably going to be the Tyranitar. It's going to be the Tyranitar. And that's the Shiny Arch Oh, it's a Godango! You don't have an air balloon. You don't have an air balloon. He doesn't have an air balloon. Alright. That is perfectly fine. Because I'm just going to do Earth Power on you now. Alright. This is... I am actually at a good spot here. What do we do? Alright. It goes for a nasty part of the You gotta go. What you? What are you doing? You have a focus on you don't. <laughs> Alright, well... I was able to get that. I, I just know I don't. I live. <laughs> Let's go. And the rain is gone. So... Oh yeah, I forgot about my tailwind. So... This is actually gonna be... This is actually gonna be a crazy one. Rillaboom, I forgot. That was the last Pokemon! Alright. Alright, alright. The rain is gone. That Rillaboom is really desperate to do a fake out right now. I don't blame it. But who's gonna do a fake out on though? That's the first one. Probably our child on. I will, I will do the necessary play here and just go attack. The I what? what? Okay. All right. Not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. And I'll take the critical hit as well. So now Earth Power is going to dish out a lot of people, right? And there, we, and there we have it. That was really a great match. You can my opponent. We made the boldest sand castle in the match. That is insane. Okay, now this is quite a fascinating team, I would say. <laughs> I wouldn't even say fascinating, that's weird. But yeah, my opponent has a lot of fire and water types. How I honestly don't know how to go about this. Cause they could potentially do the same strat I'm doing that could also include Pelipper and Archaladon. But they also have a Hasunian Arcanine and a Raccoonid. And they also have an Incineroar in general, so like this is almost like a mirror match, almost. And they also they could potentially set up Trick Room too. Now that I'm looking at it. Oh, I don't know if that's a good... I don't even know if that's a good strat. Maybe. Maybe. I could bring in Greninja. And I'll bring in Palos in again. Right? Me? Because <clears throat> that's, that's... That's... I'm literally taking a gamble if I do that. You know what? It may be a gamble, but it's a gamble I'm willing to take. I'll, I'll start off with these two again. <clears throat> I might want to bring in Archon on as well. Oops. You know, I might actually just bring in the entire strat again. I'll just do the same thing as last time, because I don't know what else my opponent could possibly be doing against this team. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if I made the right play in doing that. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. <laughs> There's a Zekrom right there. 
But yeah, let's see what my opponent is gonna do. Pharograph and Rack. Okay, so Okay, I think I'm in the I think I'm in the right player here. I think. Cause I can just go for Taunt right now. I can just go for Taunt right now. And Taunt the Pharograph so I don't have to worry about Trick Room. Cause what yeah, okay. Cause that's what my opponent could potentially do, so I'm not gonna take that risk. I'm not gonna take that gamble. I can just go for Amnesia to set up. So hopefully, just hopefully, my opponent doesn't like do anything out of the ordinary that can mess me up. So yeah. I'll talk. Oh no, did it have a mental? It had a freaking Oh my god. Why do you have that? Come on. Yeah, it's gonna go for it. What is this? What is this nonsense? Why? This, this, why? Why? Oh my gosh. I was doing so well. Why did you have to have a mental herb? Why? Why can't you just, why can't you have like a throat spray or a focus sash like a regular BGC player? Oh my gosh. Well, there goes the trick room. I could go for Ninja again, but I'm already at plus two. I'll just go for sure because I know for a fact I'm going to take a lot of damage. That's literally not doing. Wait, wait. Yo, that water shuriken is actually not doing anything. I'm at plus. I'm at plus. Uh, I'm at plus six. I'm at plus six. So that's actually really good. Not only that, my opponent did set up the weakness policy. Yo, this is big brain. <laughs> This is actually big brain here. Hold on. And I can just go for that and just heal up. Okay, that was almost. That was almost a good amount of damage. Maybe I could potentially maybe I could safely do a U-turn. I can do that. I don't know how much damage I'm gonna do to it, however. Yeah, because my opponent does have an Arc Shadow on, so maybe... No, they also have an so Arcanine. That could also be another issue. I'm probably gonna go... Should I go for it? Show up or protect? You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. <laughs> but now the thing is, I gotta figure out a way how to deal with their only flying type because with Pelipper there, it can actually mess up the whole flow of the gameplay. So I need to figure out a way to get rid of it and pronto. <laughs> So I don't have to worry that much. I can actually hurricane the Arachnid. I could go for Earth Power on the further out. I just want to get these Pokemon out the way. Alright, now my opponent's going to us wise. Is it the Arachnid? It is. Arrow Water. Oh man. Best case, yeah, you definitely have to go. Helping hands? What are you trying to do here? There's no way. There's no way. Come on. Don't do that. Oh, oh, wait, what? Wait, what? He lowered my defense. But guess what? I got it back, Goofy. 
Oh man. I'm having way too much fun right now. Oh no, this is Okay, that didn't do. I confused them. I confused them. That's actually good. How much turns left is on Trick Room? It's his last turn. Yo, actually, I'm going to do... Okay, okay, hold on. I'm going to do something that could potentially be Big Brain right now. Hold on. I'm going to do something that is potentially Big Brain. I might want to go for Protect here. Or, you know what? Better yet, they're right here and ready to rest line, so maybe I might as well just go for it. I can live another one. I can, I can live another Liquidation, because I take that pretty well. So, for for the issue, it's the Araquanid. Oh, it attacked itself. Yo, that's even good. That's even better. You're gone. All right. Now, now, watch, now, ladies and gentlemen, watch this big raid play right here. Because even though it's Trick Room, this is the last turn. This is the last turn, so now I'm going to set up this goal. Trick room is gonna be gone, and then boom, I'm out speeding. I'm out speeding everything, boy. Oh my gosh, Sean. I can actually deal with that pretty well. I just, hopefully, I'm strong enough to outspeed it. Hopefully. Weather ball, I could. How many turns left I have on this? Okay, I have three more turns of rain left. And I have our child on the back chilling, so... Yeah, that's actually a good idea. That's actually a good idea. I'll go for the rubber ball. You're gone. And I do outspeed, so this Earth Power is gonna be to your face right now. How much are we doing? Do we have a focus sash? No way, do you have a focus sash? It doesn't even have a focus sash in a tank bag? Okay, but I take that, I'm good. No, don't actually, yeah, don't light guard. I need to take down one of these gold ones. I probably want to take down that Arch I want to take down the Arch I because... I'm bulk my Pelosan is bulky enough, but the thing is, that Incineroar is gonna just do a fake out, so I don't wanna take that chance. I'm just gonna go for protect. If our child on does work and went for the and went for the Pelosan, you're bummed. <laughs> Alright. I had a feeling I had a feeling that Incineroar was trying to do something. I just had the feeling. Alright. I can just go for Weather Ball again. This is pretty much GG, so we're just gonna wrap this up. You can't do Fake Out no more. And yet, <laughs> there we have it. GG's to my opponent. That's another victory on Palosan right there. Like, this thing is too bulky. Why is this a thing? Alright, now this... Oh my gosh, I already have a feeling that shenanigans is going to be happening with this team here. My man's got a Kaferi, Dax Caliber, Godango, and we have the Rillaboom, Volcarona, and Primarina. I'm starting to realize that those three at the bottom works really well in most teams. Like, I'm starting to realize that. Like, it's, it's crazy. It really is. But how can I start this off? Because... I I really want to bring in Archaladon, but I have a feeling Archaladon won't do much in this fight. Not to mention they do have a Clefairy in the back's caliber, so I might want to start off with something different. I'll start off with the Nihilate and Palosan first. And then actually, no. Because I, I forgot, they have Max Caliber. So Archaladon, I might have I actually might have to bring Archaladon for this. You know what? All right, we're gonna start this. I, I might want to do the same thing again, but this probably might be a bad idea. Might, because Volcarona is there. Mm. <clears throat> this 
is this is actually really this is a little worrying. We're doing it. We're doing it. I don't know how it's gonna work exactly, but I have a feeling something might happen. Shenanigans is gonna occur because Clefairy could just really just disrupt the flow of the gameplay. Shuriken. I'm really, I'm really making a worry play right now. I think I should have taunted the Clefairy by the same time it was best if I did it. It's it's really a gamble. It's really 50-50 in this situation. It really is. I am actually fine with that. I can do I can do some damage. Maybe. Or you know what? I have a feeling doing taunt was the actual play. Doing taunt was okay, so doing taunt was actually the, the play right there, cause. Now Clefairies is going to keep doing that, and I'm not going to be able to get my setup. Now you want to go for- oh my gosh, I like that. Opponent really just broke my ankle. He, he, he really just juked me. He really did. I thought he was gonna go follow me again. Now I'm rip now I'm really out of back spot. Oh my gosh. Alright. You know what? I still I have my backup plan. Kind of. <laughs> I have my backup plan. I'm gonna hurricane. I'm gonna hurricane the move I know that Cle knowing Clefairy is probably gonna go for, I don't know, probably follow me again. I knew it. That's, if I can get the kill on that Clefairy, that could actually help me out. So we got it's not looking like it. It's not looking like it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is not looking like it. How much did Oh my gosh. It might do Grassy Glide. If it's gonna do Grassy Glide, I'll bring it, I'll just bring an Archon on against it. I, I had to see, I had a feel, I should have taunt, I should have done taunt. Oh man. Only by luck can I get rid of this Clefairy now. Alright. That's perfect, I got my defense boost. You're annoying. You're annoying. I love that's why I like the fable better. 
Oh my gosh. This is gonna be a problem. You know what? I'm gonna have to do what any other person would do. I'm at plus two in special defense too, so I am bulky on the special defense side, but I get hit oh, almost dropped. Like, I, I get hit once with a super effective physical attack. I'm actually at a bad spot for Palisade. That's my own, that's the only thing. I need to figure out a way to get rid of this. Switch into, okay, he switched out. Wait, switch into who? Yeah, kind of hard. Who's that? You know what? I'm fine with that because I get a free plus one. I am perfectly fine with that. Not to mention, I am at plus, what, like plus four for special effects? So yeah, Kramer is, isn't going to do pretty much nothing against me. The grass is gone. Oh, I have a feeling why he did that. Was that the reason? Don't tell me that was the reason why he did that. I just want to get rid of this thing like as quickly as I can. You know what? No. I have I I trust in our child on the tag. If I'm at plus two doing electric shock on the Clefairy, I should be able to at least kill it at that range. If not, then that thing is extremely low. But so we're just gonna have to find out. I'm at plus two. All right, we're, we're good. We're chilling. Since I'm at plus two now, I can just... Why do you have Haze? I am so gonna lose right now. Why do you have Haze? Of all moves, why do you have that? He's gonna bring out Rillaboom again. Does it have haze? That's not fair. I'm gonna die. Like I'm, I'm, I'm literally gonna die. Oh my gosh! I gotta get rid of you. That's that's what I have to do. This is ridiculous. What what could Prince Rita potentially has ice beam? It might have ice beam. Oh my god, don't tell me. Is it fake? I get my defense boost again, but like... Seriously, though. Oh my gosh. Why is it going for it again? That was kind of a waste. That was actually kind of a waste. Unfortunately, I can't do that now. My rain is gone. I do have Pell Crystal, right? Yes, I do. Should I? No, no, actually. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to take the riskiest play out there and probably bring it back up. And I'm just gonna go for my like, power on a premium. I, I gotta get rid of this thing like, like on. I'm just i I kinda did this out of fear as well because if Pokemon is the last Pokemon on your team, I gotta find every type of means to weaken it. Alright. It really did high horsepower. <laughs> it really did high horsepower. Can you like calm down? I can't do tailwind either. I could, but hurricane or tailwind. That's the question I have. I'll go for tailwind. I'll, I'll, I'll 
I'll go for Tailwind. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna die. But no. What was the point? Wait. <laughs> Yo. Oh my gosh! I just got a free Tailwind. That's insane. I actually got a free Tailwind though. And I get my defense boost. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I am making the plays. I am making the plays. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're going for another one. Electro shot. I'm also gonna do amnesia as well. have two Pokemon that is standing their ground against this freaking Primarina in this Rillaboom. Like, it is ridiculous right now. It is actually ridiculous. There's no way he's going for it again. There's no rationalizing. Is it the Primarina? It is. Don't, don't want to be so Come on. Oh, no. Don't do, don't do it again. Okay, plus two. I should be able to at least get it. A good amount of damage for Palisand to pick up the kill. Like I said before, I trust my child on damage. Okay, not right. Oh dang, that wasn't what I hoped, but. I hopefully it, I can get something off of that. I'm at plus two, so I think Rillaboom actually is that. Why do you keep doing that? You're seriously annoying. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that? Yeah, this is actually a stall right now. You know what? If anything, I just need to get rid of that Rillaboom, really because knowing Pre-Marina is just going to go for Protect again. Knew it. I knew it! I called it! Like, bro! How much damage are we doing? Dang. Oh my gosh, I'm at... That is ridiculous. I tanked. And my tailwind is gone. <laughs> Gosh, everything is gone. Never mind, I might, I might actually lose this. What's my... I have like no heights of defense set up right now. And I'm running low on Earth power. I'm gonna give it a pre marina. Yep, there goes my child on. Oh dang, that did a lot. How much are we doing with that tower? Not much. How much? I'm going for it. I am at a bad spot. I I I do lose. That got me at killing range. I'm not gonna do much. Yep, that's it. That's it. Did he survive? Oh my gosh, that took so long. 
Like, the only thing I could've, I wish I could've done better was to play with Greninja, because if I taunted the Clefairy, I actually would've won that match. Alright, I'm going to be ending the video right here. This has been such an amazing team to try out. Building the most tankiest sandcastle in the VGC meta was just so fun. Oh my god, what a way to, because... Jeez, like summer, like summer is pretty much over, almost over, or pretty much over at this point. Fall is coming, winter is coming soon. Like, what a way to end it! It's been, it's been a good ride for the summer. And what not to use a pale stain team for? It. It's funny how it's called Beach Day. Once again, shout out to Mr. Kurtastic for this amazing team. I had a blast using it. I really did. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to unleash the full potential of both Annihil and Incineroar, unfortunately for that. Maybe in the future, because I do want to try this team out in the future. So, if that's the case, if I do try it in the future, I'm definitely going to be using Annihil and Incineroar more. But overall, I had pre I pretty much had a lot of fun with this team. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It is always appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.